Hello and welcome to How Possible. Before watching this video, subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos and also hit the bell icon to get free notifications. How to make yourself throw up easily. We all know how unpleasant it is to vomit, and no one would like to induce vomiting just for fun. However, when you've consumed any poisonous or contaminated food, or if you're suffering from indigestion or drinking too much alcohol, then it's necessary to vomit in order to expel toxins from your body. So, in this video, we've presented 10 ways using which you can make yourself throw up easily. Let's get started. Number one, use your finger. When your finger touches the back of your throat, gag reflex happens, which causes you to become nauseous and vomit. We know it sounds super disgusting to do this, but just touching the back of your mouth will work. Number two, drink salt water. When you drink salt water, now your body has too much sodium ions and electrical neutrality is disturbed. So, body tries to come back to its natural balance by expelling excess water in the form of vomit. Just add one or two teaspoons of salt to a glass of water and drink it with a single gulp. It'll take 25 to 30 minutes to start working, and if you'd like to have rapid results, then speed it up by touching the back of your mouth with your finger. Number three, drinking Coca Cola which has no gas. When a can or bottle of Coca Cola is opened, there's a buildup of gas, which is really helpful for treating upset stomach. However, once the gas is run out, Coke is left with just sugar, plenty of sugar. And this is what your body can't tolerate and start anti peristalsis to make you vomit it out. If you just keep on drinking Coca Cola, which has run out of gas, you'll be in a nauseous state. To vomit, immediately drink water over it. Number four, rubbing toothbrush. By rubbing your toothbrush in the back of your mouth, you can trigger gag reflex and eventually vomit. This is a good option for those that are disgusted by the thought of using their finger to touch the back of their mouth. Go ahead and give this a try. Number five, start thinking about vomit. This might sound weird, but it's true that when you focus your brain on nauseous smells, sounds, and sights, your brain tricks your body into a state of nausea, which leads to vomiting. And as I said, it's weird, but it works. Gotta focus your mind on nauseating things. Number six, use egg whites for gargling. You know how nauseating the smell of raw egg white is? But it does the job of triggering vomiting and expelling toxins from the stomach. By just mentioning the phrase gargling with raw egg whites, if the thought of doing this made you nauseous as it did to us, then this method will surely work for you. Number seven, smell or see nasty things. Seeing or smelling unpleasant things like watching someone vomiting or smelling worn socks can trigger a brain reflex which causes you to vomit. All of us have seen someone vomiting and know how unpleasant that sight is, that it almost makes us puke too. If you're someone who's provoked by this or by something else unpleasant and nasty, then use these things as a trigger. Number eight, baking soda. Baking soda, also known as sodium bicarbonate, is a well known inducer of nausea vomiting. Just add a teaspoon of baking soda in a glass of water and drink it in a single gulp. Then feel the magic happen. Number nine, mustard. Mustard naturally contains emetic properties, in other words, properties that'll make you vomit. So this can be used for triggering vomiting. Add one or two teaspoons of mustard in a glass of water and gulp it down. Since mustard contains high amounts of sodium, so use this with caution. As excess sodium can be very harmful to your body, we'll advise to consult with a doctor before opting for this. Number 10. Bloodroot Herb Bloodroot or bloodwort herb is a remedial plant used for curing many health problems. Besides this, it also has emetic properties and can trigger nausea and vomiting. Just mix some bloodroot herb powder in a glass of water and drink it in a single go. Since this herb is found to be toxic in high doses, we'll recommend you to ask your doctor before using this. If you found these helpful, comment below with which remedy worked the best for you. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.